Welcome to Unit 7, Topic, Strategies to Control Alcohol-Related Problems. Number one, how to recognize those who are becoming a VIP, a visibly intoxicated person. Number two, 50 signs of intoxication. Number three, how to deal with a VIP. Number four, how to deny service to a VIP. Number five, strategies for house policies that will help reduce problems from alcohol service. Number six, management's commitment to responsible alcohol service. Number seven, the good faith effort. Observe, listen, evaluate, react is a term that goes hand in hand with the old restaurant adage, guide the guest. Guide the guest, that's perpetual, ongoing. That will start the moment they walk in the door. It will end when they leave. Start out with the observe, listen, evaluate, react. Observe them, how when they walk to the door. Listen to your guests, they will tell you where they are at. People come to your establishments because they feel welcome. And for them to feel welcome, they're gonna tell you where they're at. When we say guide the guest, all you're doing is staying one step ahead of your guest. It's something you already do. While you're waiting on tables, what are you always doing? You are constantly anticipating your guest's needs. Do they have to have those plates pulled? Do you need more water, more sauce, etc.? You are always looking to see what your guest needs so you can build your tip. By having the same focus when they are drinking alcohol, you're going to stop a lot of problems before they ever happen. You are in control of your guests. It's all part of giving better service. Observe, listen, evaluate, react is perpetual. It will start the moment they walk in the door. It will end when they leave. The only thing that will change is how you will react to what you have observed and listened to. Start out by watching them when they enter the establishment. Do they appear as if they have been drinking somewhere else? Our guests have a tendency to go where they feel comfortable and feel welcome. For you to take care of your guests properly, they will tell you where they're at and don't even realize what they have told you. They will tell you if they're in a good mood, bad mood. If they have been out drinking elsewhere, they'll tell you about that. Evaluate this person. Are the things they have told you or has their body language put up any red flags? When people consume alcohol, it is going to affect them and they'll begin to show signs of intoxication. Remember, not everyone will act the same way to alcohol. What are some of the signs of intoxication you notice? Two more, bartender. Sure. Drink those first two pretty quickly, ladies. Oh, the night good. is but a pup. You might want to slow a little bit. Tonight. It's a long night. Make us two more. Yeah. All right. You got it. There you go. So. Oh, I hate it when that happens. I'm sorry. That's all right. Things happen. I think the two at home got you. So let me try to drink tonight. I drink like one glass and you drink the rest, right? So what are you drinking? Oh, wine. Wine? What kind of wine? Some Merlot. Merlot. Well, what do you say we give this a little break and have a little snacky poo oh, and then we'll go from later on? Well, I understand that you probably are, but you know what? Let's just give it a little while, okay? We'll get you an appetizer menu. Until then, ladies, no more drinks. Sorry.